If you're charged with the offense of vehicular homicide or serious injury by vehicle, in almost every case, the police are going to request a blood and possibly a urine test. They're not even going to bother with a breath test because they're looking at all of what's in your system. They don't have an automatic right to take you down for a blood test. That's been decided by the Supreme Court of Georgia in 2003 and again in 2005. But the officer, if he or she suspects any type of drug use, prescription or otherwise, they don't care, or alcohol, and they have probable cause to make an arrest for that, they're going to request a blood test. Now in Georgia, you can say no. They have to then get a warrant for the blood. It has to be signed by a judge, has to be authorized by a court, and those are sometimes subject to challenge because they make errors trying to get them. But rest assured, if you are going to get a blood test, they're going to try to take it all the way to the limit. The average sentence is not possible to tell you because it varies from jurisdiction to jurisdiction. But 15 years is the maximum. If you have a bad history, you'll be expecting 10 or more years in prison, and you generally have to serve 90% or more of that sentence. There's no early out on a serious case like that.